November 24th, 2017, I bought my first ever personal gaming console, a PS4 Slim I got in a Black Friday sale. This was the start to an ongoing 7 year journey of gaming and of course, upgrading my setup. My first ever gaming setup looked like this. A cheap standard TV sitting on top of a little entertainment center with my PS4 to the right. The only chair I had was a super uncomfortable thing I found in our storage room. Honestly, I'm not sure it was even meant to be sad in. Nonetheless, I got super into Call of Duty World War 2 until I played my first First game of Fortnite. I was enjoying Fortnite so much that by April of 2018, I started making YouTube videos on it, and my setup got its first ever upgrades. I put my TV up on a wall mount, mounted my GoPro to use as a face cam, and of course, added my first RGB light to the setup. This was all I needed for a while, but like every other Fortnite player back in season 6 and 7, I thought I had what it took to go pro. So I decided to set things up and get a proper gaming monitor, and this really got my setup rolling. With a real 27 inch curved gaming monitor, I had to have an actual desk to place it. But being 16 with no money, I had to improvise and once again I went into our storage room and found a plastic folding table that I put a bed sheet over the top to try to make it look nicer. My bulky chair didn't fit behind the desk so I ended up using a metal folding chair which was even more uncomfortable, leading to me asking for a proper gaming chair that Christmas. When 2019 started, we finally had some resemblance of a gaming setup. I still had my PS4 with the monitor, the crappy laptop on the folding desk, and now a chair with a couple extra additions to my controller, like control freaks and paddles. The entire setup was around $500, but later that year, everything changed. I got a really good deal on this PC someone was selling on Facebook Marketplace, and for just $450, I was officially a PC gamer. The specs on this PC were a Ryzen 5 2600 CPU, a GTX 1060 graphics card, and 16 gigabytes of RAM. Not crazy, but way better than a PS4 Slim, and it allowed me to step up my content creation. With the PC, the guy gave gave me a mouse, a keyboard, and a mouse pad. At this time, I decided to make a couple more upgrades like getting a Logitech C920 for a webcam and getting the Logitech G Pro X headset for better audio and better mic quality. Everything was going great, but I was still using a folding table as my desk. And the worst part was that when we had guests over, we'd have to take the table and use it for seating. Meaning like once a month, all my setup would just be on the floor until I could get my desk back. To fix this, I bought a cheap L desk from Amazon and moved my setup back to this Corner. Around this time, my YouTube videos weren't doing good, but I had started working an actual job to make money, and when I hit 1,000 subscribers towards the start of 2020, I celebrated by upgrading some more parts of my setup. Like I got a Blue Yeti mic and some other smaller stuff, like a monitor mount, a stream deck, speakers, a light, those types of things. The setup at this point was around $1,000 total, and this is when I had some YouTube videos do decent. I started to make a couple hundred dollars per month, and I was getting enough attention that I got my first ever free product sent to me, a GT Ray racing chair. I continued making a few hundred dollars per month from YouTube all the way through 2020. So by the end of the year, I was at 15,000 subscribers and I figured that it'd be a good investment to upgrade my PC. So that's exactly what I did. I spent $2,000 and got my PC from a company that builds it custom, then ships it out to you so you don't have to worry about building it yourself. This had a 3070, an i7-10700, and 32 gigabytes of RAM, a pretty big upgrade from my previous one. The day that I received this PC, my setup changed in a massive massive way because I completely moved its location. My brother moved out for college years ago and our basement was completely unused so I took it over and moved everything from my bedroom down to the basement. This was a crazy time for my setup because Christmas had also just passed so now I was running dual 27 inch monitors. I also tried this other tiny monitor thing that I only used for like a day but I upgraded some of my peripherals as well like a 60% mechanical keyboard and a proper gaming mouse. I also got some RGB floodlights because of course we always need more RGB at the gaming setup. At this time, I called my setup $5,000, but realistically, it was probably closer to being $3,000. Throughout 2021, I stayed on my YouTube grind, continuing to make videos and making $300 to $800 per month on the side while I did online college and work. And my setup stayed pretty much the same until around September when my videos started doing even better. At this time, I had a couple months in a row where I made around $1,000 per month just from my videos. So I thought I'd invest some of that money back into the the setup by buying a really good camera setup. I spent about a thousand dollars upgrading from a little webcam to an actual camera, the Sony ZV E10 with a 16 millimeter lens, a cam link, a new light, and some mounts for them. That turned out to be a solid investment because by the end of 2021, I crossed 35,000 subscribers and had a single month where I made over three thousand dollars just from YouTube. In January of 2022, I finally got rid of my old unstable L desk and got sent this desk 
desk that I still use today. When I got this desk, I once again moved my entire setup over to a different part of the basement so I could have more room behind me. And around this time, the only other change in my setup is I got sent a few extra controllers from various companies. 2022 was going really well on YouTube and I decided I wouldn't be going back to my job. So I was now at my setup making videos way more often. I got a couple things to make myself more comfortable like an ergonomic mouse and some more RGB lights. My setup now with the camera stuff and all the additions was sitting somewhere near $6,000. Then in April of 2022, I wanted to make some console videos, but my PS4 Slim that started this whole thing off was unfortunately not cutting it. So I bought a PS5 and had a few more controllers. By June, I decided this Blue Yeti mic quality didn't really make sense when I had such a nice camera setup and I was essentially doing YouTube as a full-time job by this point. So I completely revamped my audio and got the trusty Shure SM7B, a Wave XLR, and the Rode PSA1 mount, spending about $700 to upgrade. A few months later in July, I didn't think two monitors was cutting it anymore. For content creation, there's a lot going on. You have to game, see your recording software, see your video outline, and even while editing, there's so much space that you need, so I upgraded my four-year-old main gaming monitor, the second piece to my setup that I ever bought, and got this 27-inch Acer one. Then by October, about 10 months of doing YouTube full-time, I was so sick of sitting in an uncomfortable chair every day that I got a real ergonomic chair, the Steelcase Leap V2, which is so expensive, but it's worth it when you sit and make videos all day. That decision to essentially go full-time in YouTube paid off by the end of 2022 when I hit 100,000 subscribers. With the year now turning into 2023, I thought my PC I got in 2020 was a little outdated, and I decided to make an investment on a very good PC. So just a couple months ago, I bought and built a $4,000 PC that has a 4090, an i9-13900K, 64 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, 4 terabytes of SSD space, and 8 terabytes of hard drive space. Investing in my setup has always seemed to work out, and that entire journey has led to where my setup is today in June of 2023. The core of my setup is my new PC, my triple monitors, my Sony camera setup, my Shure mic setup, wireless Logitech peripherals, my Ewan desk, and my Steelcase chair. This core core setup is around $8,000, but I have so much more that I consider a wider part of my setup, like my consoles, controllers, and all these accessories that make it whole. I've gotten to add and try some really cool things like a 240Hz gaming projector, augmented reality gaming glasses, and more. I think the key to a good setup is to make sure it's comfortable and functional. Sure, my setup is definitely not as aesthetically pleasing as some, but my entire goal has always been to just make it comfortable and functional. I think there's still a ton of room for growth at my setup, so we'll see where the future years take us. I provided links to everything at my setup down in the description if you want to check anything out, so thank you so much for watching.